Hello everyone, Tuckle Bird here from the video review. This time we have Cadbury's Mini Rolls with big personality. <laughs> it says, I'm rich and famous now, so there we go. <laughs> uh, so these are just the regular ones, milk chocolate. There are raspberry ones, and I think, um, well, as you can see from the back, there is um, a chocolate orange one as well. Have you tried them, Mini Rolls chocolate orange? And in, very, or very, really, and really appealing. There we go. Uh, appealing. So I guess it's a play on the fact that you peel an orange. There we go. <laughs> very good. Um, Yes, so basically these are ones I always had when I was younger. Um, I used to always have them in my lunchbox, I think, at school for, for school dinners, or if not, I always wanted them. I'm trying to think if I ever did have them. I mean, my mum was a bit strict and didn't give me them, I'm not sure. I might have had a Jacob's Club, actually. I can't remember, but anyway. Yes, these are kind of like the premium uh, dessert things you always wanted and perhaps never got. I can't quite remember now, really. I'm trying to think if I did. I seem to feel like I always wanted them and never got them, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Very nice. So when I did, uh, I did go to work in Holland for a bit um, at one point and uh, you know, I lived with um, I think a Romanian and a French guy for a bit and I took some of these with me and you know, because you can't, well basically I don't think, you, know, you can't get them mainly in Europe, just in the UK I think, so uh, I thought these were a brilliant thing to introduce to uh, my European colleagues. <laughs> Seems to go down well so that's good. <laughs> anyway, I digress. They're really nice, let's put it that way. But anyway, um, so you can see um, basically it's like a sort of chocolate covered cake chocolate sponge actually with a uh, uh, cream sort of in the centre um, yeah so very nice really so there are raspberry ones which I've uh, just reviewed um, there you go, so which has just a regular golden sponge centre but with, with a bit of jam in the middle peach and raspberry jam it said um, I feel like uh, from memory you know as I say I think uh, basically they add a bit more I think the chocolate sponge isn't chocolatey enough from what, from what I seem to remember and I kind of always seem to wish there was like kind of a chocolate cream or something on it. Or a bit like the jam, you know, it's the equivalent of a bit of chocolate in there. So let's see if that's still the case. Um, yeah, so let's have, a, let's have a look. Yeah, anyway. So it says a chocolate flavoured sponge with a vanilla flavoured cream covered with milk chocolate. I do make my own cake sometimes and basically when I do make a chocolate sponge, um, even though it's chocolate sponge, it has to have a massive layer of buttercream in it to really give you a chocolate flavour and add like a chocolate ganache on top or something. I don't think chocolate sponge in, is in itself enough to really give you a chocolate flavour, so that's a bit of a worry with this one, I'd say. You know I do have fond memories of it. Um, so calorie-wise, it's uh, per roll 115 grams. That's 27 uh, grams per roll, by the way. And 115 calories, sorry. So the roll is 27 grams, and it's 115 calories, 6.2 grams of fat, 3.1 of which are saturates. Uh, Six plus vegetarians, it says. And there's five of them in a pack, so you get a pack of these ones. I don't think you can buy them individually. I think you can buy them in 10 packs as well, but uh, that's packs with 10. Um, I don't think you get them individually. Okay, so let's uh, give it an open. So it comes in a kind of like a cardboard tray. Get five of them, so there you go. And each come with like a little slogan on them, so we've got, uh, let's see. <laughs> so we've got a uh, role model at the top, and you might see that one. Role model, double L. You've got roll on the floor laughing. And we've got, uh, let's say, Marina is in reverse. Uh, the King of Chuck and Roll, yeah, very nice. And uh, this one, what's this one? Mini Roll Massive Joy, so it's a bit less... I'm not sure what that's about, but there we go. And then we've got to uh, roll and fall laughing again, so they do repeat slightly. I think in the other one, um, in the Raspberry one, they repeat in exactly the same places as well, actually. Uh, yeah, I think they did. There we go. Yeah, so I thought it was a bit random, but it's obviously not. <laughs> yeah, so there are um, flourishes on these. They make quite a nice play packet, I like the purple, the blue text. It has the same thing on the back, the description. A chocolate flavoured sponge with vanilla flavoured cream covered with milk chocolate. Contains wheat, gluten, eggs, milk, and soya. These cakes do not contain dairy cream. We contain nuts. Uh, as you can see, there, there's massive flourishes on these. A bit of air in there as well. Pan it out. So, yeah, flush wise, it's about 11 centimetres really. Flushes, maybe a bit more. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. You can see, as I say, if you put them in the thing, you know, they've, this is a massive, oh, let's do it at the bottom, the bottom one. You can see sort of the gap when you push them to the sides, there's a massive sort of, you know, gap there. 
Yeah, so it doesn't need to be as wide. So it is conning you into thinking you're getting more. You'd think, oh, because they're in a box, it's not, but they are. Look, it could be a lot thinner. But they all do that, don't they? So there we go. Right, so I think let's put this one aside. Let's give it an open. Yeah. So it's only 11, 11 and a half, didn't we, I think. Maybe we'll say 11 for argument's sake this time. I think. So it's quite well, let's have a look at first. It's quite, it feels quite nice, actually. Um, I can't remember the feeling, the feeling that nice in the raspberry ones, but yeah. This little cake bar, you'd say. It's clearly sort of raw shape, flat bottomed. It's quite nice, there's a little uh, nub in there, probably covering the ends. It's been dipped in chocolate. I've got that little uh, swirly effect on the top, that's nice. You can see there, it's a smooth bottom, no tire tracks from the conveyor belt. Uh, yeah, that's good, really. Um, let's see, let's give it a rough length. I mean, it's, it's kind of not quite, it's a bit nubbly at the end, so you can see there it's. You know, one bit slightly longer than the other, I guess. But um, with that in mind, anyway, it's about eleven. It's about seven centimeters. And that's at the longest points. So I've lost a good four centimeters at least. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You know, so height-wise, it's about just over about two point five, two point six, and width-wise at the top, I do roughly three centimeters. Yeah, so all that measurements in centimeters. Okay, let's cut it down the middle. Okay. Well, definitely more of a distinct, uh, probably because it's um, in chocolate sponge this time, but you can definitely see the, the cream in this one. It was very hard to tell um, in the uh, in the, in the in the raspberry one because it was the, basically the, the sponge is golden, so it didn't you couldn't really see the cream much, so it didn't really look overly like it does on the wrapper. But this one, I think you would probably let them off there. I think you could say, you know, I think you could definitely say, I mean, it's probably not the right way up, but um, yeah, I think I think that's very un unusually a good representation of what it actually looks like. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm impressed with that. Yeah, I'm impressed. Um, not that it really matters generally, but it's nice to, uh, yeah, I think that's quite good. Um, yeah, good. And there was a, uh, Funny eyes as well, if you put them on your head. <laughs> yeah, so, mm, yeah, you could do that. Or potentially, I've got to move the camera up. Let's see. For a first, you want to see my face? <laughs> Let's see, yeah, so I'm after. There you go, yeah, you could do that. <laughs> Why not? No idea what I look like there, but there we go. So that's uh, <laughs> go back <right> down. <laughs> I don't normally do that because uh, basically it messes up the whole thing. Um, yes, <laughs> it's all balanced out, and I use a spirit level to make sure it's level and this, that, and the other. But there we go, we've done it. Why not? Why not? It's worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> um, okay, anyway. All right, let's see. Uh, yes, yeah, so where were we? All right, let's, well, yeah, let's give it a taste. I think, yeah, you can see it looks very nice. Mm. There we go, let's give it a taste. Hmm. <laughs> It is very nice, very nice, yeah, I think um definitely get all of the cream there. You can definitely taste the um, chocolate sponge. It does have a sort of dry, chocolatey taste to it. I think you, I think it's the best way to describe it. The cream's nice, it does complement that, that taste, does make it a bit more... Um, well, basically, because it's quite a dry sponge, I guess, you know, a dry chocolate sponge, the cream does lift that and uh, mitigate, you know, um, balance it, not mitigate, but balance it well. That's a sort of... That's that sort of, well, not a wet layer, what's the word? <laughs> Can't think really. Not, you know, um, yeah. Well, it complements the dryness of the sponge. There we go. <laughs> mm. And there's a nice sort of crack, I mean, small crack, there's only a thin layer of chocolate, but there's a nice crack to it when you bite it. Mm. I think for me, though, it's a bit too much right on the cream, and I remember this quite well, really, and I said it in the Raspberry One review. The thing is, it's too, it's just a bit too creamy. It needs, um, it needs kind of like a, like the Raspberry One's got a bit of a, like, raspberry jam. It needs sort of like a bit of chocolate in there, I think, just to give it that extra chocolate kick. I don't think the chocolate sponge in itself is good enough. I think it's a bit dry, and I think, and I think, to be honest with you, the golden sponge is, um, I don't know, I think it tastes better than the chocolate sponge. Even though I'm a massive chocolate fan, I think chocolate sponge just tends to taste a bit dry. 
It doesn't overly take a taste of chocolate. Um, you know, I think golden sponge is a bit lighter, less dry, a bit fluffier as well. It just seems to work. It just seems to be a nicer sponge. Even though that goes it goes into everything, I believe it, because <laughs> it's not got chocolate in it. Um, hmm. So for me, I think I prefer the raspberry ones, basically, because they just they, that that layer of raspberry jam just really lifts it, and it just gives you that bit extra an extra taste that takes away from the fact that it just tastes creamy otherwise. Because I'm not a big fan of things just tasting creamy, to be honest with you. It really doesn't do it for me. I realise it might do it for some people, in which case then you'd probably love this, and probably love the raspberry one as well. Um, and I used to, you know, I do love these, and as a kid they were amazing, you know, and uh, they still are really nice, but I just think it just needs, and I don't know why it doesn't have it really, just a chocolate layer in there, like a layer of chocolate cream, like, like they do in the raspberry. Like doing the raspberry ones, we have that layer of raspberry jam. It needs the equivalent of that, I think. But maybe not a cream, though. I think that might make it a bit too sickly, but um, a chocolate sauce or something, you know. Basically a layer of just of, of chocolate, really. Um, that's sort of like, uh, that is, is, is in, that is soft, but isn't necessarily sickly creamy. Um, i trying to think of a good example of what, what that could be. Um... I mean, I don't know, maybe you could have a chocolate cream. But I don't know, I think there's cream already in there. I don't think it would, I don't think it needs any extra cream. I mean, you could have chocolate cream instead of this this cream, but I think that, I don't know, I think that would still just be creamy tasting. You know, you need something that tastes of chocolate. Um, is there anything that I can think of? Yeah, hard to say, really. I think... Uh, it could even be caramel, you know, like caramel in there. Maybe that would be what it needs. Or, or a chocolate caramel, you know, something with, with that texture that isn't creamy. It might be sweet, but it's not creamy tasting. You know, it needs something like that, um, really, I think. Just to balance out the, the creaminess of it, the sickly creaminess, I reckon. I'm going to give it more of a chocolate taste as well. As I said, the sponge is a bit dry. And a bit uninteresting, really. I think the golden sponge is better. And I do find that when I bake my own cakes as well. Chocolate sponges just don't tend to be as nice as um, as golden sponges. Mm. I'll say, which does go against everything I believe in, because uh, normally to me, if you add chocolate to anything, it's going to be better. And usually it's the case. It could be anything as well. It doesn't have to be food. <laughs> um, but we'll go into that. But yes, uh, yeah. So I think, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's really the yeah, that's the case really. And but it doesn't seem to work with chocolate sponge. I don't know why. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, very strange one. But I think that's what that's what it needs for me. And I'm sure they'll probably do some limited edition with um, with something with car with caramel in or whatever. I'm not sure. Some kind of you know, magic like that. But um, hmm. so for me, I would go for the raspberry ones, even though it goes against what you might think and the fact that this has got chocolate sponge in the raspberry ones. Just just have something a bit better about them. And as I say, I think I would never normally have even considered um. Even, even look twice at a raspberry one when I was younger. I think I uh, probably was missing a trick though because I just did associate the fact that old chocolate's just better. Um, and anything else is superfluous, you know. But yeah, so I think um, I think a four out of five still. I, rate, I did rate the raspberry one four out of five, but I think it was, it was a higher four out of five or a low 4.5 out of five <laughs> for what it's worth. Um, as this one is still a four out of five, but it's just a four out of five. <laughs> it's not pushing the boundaries of four. It's, um, it's pretty much... Uh, cemented there, so yeah, there we go. <laughs> it does say you can try the uh, the uh, before I go. It does say you can try the raspberry ones frozen. It does say in the corner there. This is a raspberry one. Try me frozen. It doesn't say that uh, on the regular one. Don't know why. I'm sure they're equally as freezable. Um, don't know why it doesn't say that. So so you could try. It. So if you do try, it, let me know. I think for me. It is akin to really um, freezing a sponge cake, you know, and I just don't think I need to do that to a cake for it to taste nice. I think I think that part of what makes a cake nice is the texture as it is at room temperature and the soft fluffiness of it. So for me, I'm not really bothered about that. And I have tried refrigerating some of these cake bars from the penguin one I did last week. Um, and while it was nice, it did exactly what I just said, really. It just, it just made this texture a bit sort of a bit too firm and it took away from the fluffiness of it. Um, I, I myself didn't think it added to it, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be interested in freezing them either, but, um, but uh, yes. But Luke Carrigan, one of my uh, regular followers, um, 
and commenters <laughs> are looking watching. And um, he does. Uh, he basically has mentioned that freezing various chocolates and things is, has been very beneficial for him. So uh, it might be worth checking out. But um, I think for me, in these cake bars at least, I think room temperature is the way forward for me. <laughs> Right, okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, follow me to subscribe, like my videos, and let's say please leave a comment, it's always great to hear from you. And I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks everyone, see you later. Bye.